What up, y'all? It's time for me to show y'all how to get a GTA mod menu. Well, uh, nah, this, I can't really show you it since I don't want to get hit with a copyright strike. Or I don't want Rockstar to actually see the steps. But the first thing you're going to want to do to go on your GTA, go to the menu. And hold up, let me make sure I do this right. You want to go to your, the map. Go to the farthest part of the north right area. What was it? Oh my god, did I say north right? I meant northwest. Yeah. And then you want to just go all the way to the top. And if you use a deluxe, so this will not work. You must go on the bike. <laughs> and when you manage to find your way, you're going to see a tree. And what you want to do is throw a Molotov on the tree. And you might, you have to walk into the fire. And then when you wake up at a hospital, you're going to, you're going to want to go find a person and mug them. And then you're going to get a thousand dollars. And then the next thing you want to do is that you're going to have to go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a little cold right now. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's the season. It's the flu season. If you hear me do a little sniffle. What you need to do is now go to your menu and hit exit game and then exit the whole GTA out. And do it. You must do it really fast. Like... I meant, I forgot to mention when you're mugging the dude, you got to exit the game and then exit GTA really fast. Then when you do that, you're going to have to log back in and hit story and then go to edit game and then set off a bunch of explosions. When you shut off these explosions, you're going to get, you're going to make the game lag out. And when the game is in, not lag out, you're going to make the game lag. When the game is in the middle of lagging, then you go to GTA Online, and then when you hop on, you're going to like see a weird message pop up saying that you have enabled cheats, and basically, that's how you're going to get some uh like a light mod, and it's 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 really helpful, and I just want to tell y'all like that's that's a good way right there. Or you got this way to make some money. Like if you don't want to like enable mods. What you want to do is you go to this area. What was it? You go buy the most expensive area and then you sell it. Like you got to keep buying it and selling it. And when you buy it for like the seventh time, it's going to say, why are you still buying this? When you, when you buy it, like when you, when you like hit, uh, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to buy this property again? Then you hit yes. And then you fill up all your most expensive cars in there. And then you like, not in there, like you go to his garage and then you put your cars in there. Then you sell these cars. And then you're going to make more money because you got a high-end garage. And when you sell the house and the, like, like with the cars and all of that, you're going to make way more money than you spent on these entire cars. And then overall, you're just going to have a lot more money. And with this money, then you repeat the same process. Like, for me, I had the Devis 8 and I had the Maze Bank area and I bought a bunch of Devis 8 and then I sold them and then what did I buy them for I bought mines for like 1.7 million I made 2.3 million back after selling it and I did that for all 10 of them so I made 23 million oh, and then for my maze bank I think I bought it for about 5 million and I was selling it and I was making six million. 
So you keep repeating the same process, you're gonna make more money back. And I hope this was just able to help y'all. And that, that was one step. Now let me tell you about this other step. The next one you wanna do is go to the casino. Like you gotta go in there with a bunch of players. So it's sometimes you might get lucky, sometimes you won't get lucky. It's best to do this with your friends. So what y'all wanna do is find a way to get all y'all to walk in the casino at the same time. This might be a little tricky. Like you got to have it perfectly down. And when y'all when y'all walk in, y'all gonna be gifted a bunch of coins, like fifty thousand coins, and you might get a couple free spins. Like if you glitch it out the right way, this glitch. Let me rephrase that. The glitch works in multiple ways. You could get a bunch of coins, or you could get free spins. Sometimes both. It depends on what position you was when you was walking in. It's best to not walk in at the parking your car right in front of there. You gotta park your car like far. And then y'all walk to there so y'all can get the timing perfect. And then this right here is gonna like with these coins. Oh my god, like with the coins, I I was literally making at least a hundred thousand dollars just by using ten thousand coins. Like you will get incredible luck with it. And if you get with doodle luck, you gotta try it again, man. And you're going to really start making millions every time you walk in there. Once you get used to doing all the gambling and all of that, you're going to make a lot of money. The best thing I do when I go in there is I go play uh, blackjack and I just really cheese it. I learned how to make all the money and win every time. I can't tell you how to do it since I don't want everybody doing my method of how on the blackjack. I'll say that for another video. But... I hope y'all enjoyed this. This was me revealing y'all my secrets of how I made money on GTA. And hope you can enjoy the cheesy menu vid part of the video. Enjoy this. I <laughs> let y'all know. And this was very not clickbait. This is not clickbait.